Thank you for joining us in this mini-series looking at playing rhythm, electric guitar, or electric two in worship. My name's Luke, and I'm going to be walking through what it looks like to play electric two in a worship context. Whether you're just starting out, or whether you're incredibly talented, or whether you've played in church for a long time, or never before, I hope these short videos will be helpful to you. We'd love to hear how you get on, so do get in touch and let us know. We love hearing stories of people developing in their God-given gifts. Before we dive into how we, as a rhythm electric guitarist, play in worship, let's talk briefly about why, what we should aim for, and what values we should keep in mind as we approach playing in a worship context. Worship music is different to any other style of music, as it's primarily not about us. It's not even about the music. It's about leading people to God. And so as we come to worship, it's important to always keep in our minds the question, how can I lead people to God through what I'm playing? Is there anything I'm doing that is distracting people from God? This way you can best serve the band, the church, and God. Of course, as the psalmist says, we want to play skillfully, giving the fullness of our gifts to God. But I believe to play skillfully is to play in a way that suits the song, suits the style, and suits the environment. The electric guitar is an incredibly versatile instrument and can be used in many different ways to achieve certain sounds, emotions, and dynamics. One of the main roles of an electric guitarist is to support the other band members and provide musical layers that can help drive upbeat songs, add interest through melodic movement, or create atmospheric tones that complement the quieter moments in worship or ministry time. The role of the electric guitarist can be split into two sub-roles, lead and rhythm. As we've already mentioned, we will be focusing on the rhythm guitar for this part of the series. Rhythm guitar is focused on playing chords, triads or inversions and using volume swells and simple rhythmic riffs to help round out the sound and give the songs a sense of fullness. The intention of the rhythm guitar is to sit comfortably in the mix and not be too overpowering, but to complement what the drummer, the bassist and the keyboards are doing. This can be really useful in helping to build songs, create ambience and dynamics, or even give the worship leader space in quieter moments when they don't want to play but still want the music to keep moving. When playing electric guitar in a worship team, it is really important to remember that when we play, it should be complementing what the other band members are playing or what they're singing, and we should not be competing to be heard. We are there to help enhance worship and not be a distraction. We are working together as a team to lead people in glorifying God. We're not playing to boost our egos and get great compliments on our abilities. As a rhythm guitarist, we need to be aware of what the piano, the acoustic, bass and drums are doing. Try to play chord voicings that differ from what the acoustic and the piano are playing. If the acoustic guitar is playing chords at the top of the neck, try to play chords in the middle to help balance the tones and frequencies and ensure the sound is not muddy. Listen to what the drummer is doing and try to emphasize specific rhythms or patterns. And if the bassist is doing the same, make sure you compliment him or her. Don't worry if this is all sounding new or strange as we'll focus more on the techniques in the upcoming videos. Throughout this video mini-series, we'll look at chord shapes and voicings, playing with other musicians, popular rhythm guitar techniques, and tone and effects. And we'll finish with a video playing through a song which will demonstrate all of these things. So see you in the next video.